Hi there, guys. Um, this is some brief help for question um, six and question seven on 8A. Um, so I've set up a little diagram for question six already. They give us the fact that the radius of the left-hand circle is three centimeters. The radius of the right-hand circle is five centimeters and the, cent and the centers are six centimeters apart. I've set this one up here. Um, and uh, you need to work out the perimeter of the shaded region and the area of the shaded region. Well, in order to do that, we'll need to find two arc lengths or two segment areas. Now, when I say two segment areas, it is useful to have this line down here because you can see you've got the, the segment to the left and you've also got the segment to the right there as well. If we split this uh, with a perpendicular bisector and between the two places where they, the, the two circles cross. Um, area of a segment formula is simply, so it's a sector, take away the triangle. Um, and so if this is your theta, I'm just doing the area at the moment, of course. So um, not any distance around the outside of that segment. So area of a sector is a half R squared theta, where theta is measured in radians subtract and there's your r and there's your r again your half a b sine theta which becomes a half r squared sine theta sine a if you like uh, a b sine c or whichever way you put these letters around but that's just the alternative um area of a triangle formula Okay, uh, you can factorize this, by the way, if you want to, um, but this formula is not given in your formula sheet, so it's good if you can make this formula. Okay, so my, my first thought in doing this was to set it up using two sets of Pythagoras. I thought, well, okay, well, maybe I need to work out this length, and I need to work out this length here, and that way I'll be able to work out this angle here, and this angle here. Okay, and I'll need to work out those angles. That would be the angle here and the angle here. I need those angles in order to be able to use the formula. Um, it's not the best way of doing it, but it was the first way I thought of doing it. Um, and then you could set this one up as x and six minus x on this side, and I just called this y. And then you can say, well, uh, x squared plus y squared equals 3 squared and 6 minus x squared plus y squared equals 5 squared and it's pretty easy to subtract the two things and the y squares will disappear or set them both equal to y squared uh, and, and set the two expressions equal to each other that would be pretty straightforward but there's a much easier way of doing this so let's just get rid of that for a second. And some of you might have worked it out as well. This is three centimeters. This is five. This is six. We can use the cosine rule. So I was being pretty, pretty done with that, in fact. So we can use the cosine rule to work out this angle here, and we can double it to get that full angle, which we're going to need in order to apply the formula for the area of a segment. And likewise, we can use the cosine, for, cosine rule for this one as well. Okay, and bring the cosine rule. We've got a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. Okay, um, just to recap on the formula for the segment area, we've got a half r squared theta minus a half r squared sine of theta. This now becomes um, two, uh, a, a question where you need to work out those two segments, this one and this one. If you want to draw two separate diagrams for those, so for example, draw this diagram over to the side to begin with, then you might that might help you, okay? So you can work out, once you've worked out this, you can double it to get this, and then you know what R is, R is equal to three, and so you can use this formula here to work out the area of that segment. Okay, hopefully that's clear. Right, let's have a look at the second question. So, for question seven, um, I was messing up on this a bit yesterday as well when I went through with Adam. Because originally, when I went through this question, I thought, uh, naively, I thought that this point here 
was in between here and here. It's absolutely not. So this question is, is much more complicated. Um, it might help if you exaggerate this diagram a bit and just put the point over to the side slightly because then that helps, helps you see um, the kind of shape that you're getting for this. Now, um, once you, now it's fairly straightforward to get this segment over here, if you know, of course, what this angle is over here. Just put that in. Okay. And sorry, I'm just being a bit messy here. There you go. So now those these lengths here, this is two because this is the radius, and this is two as well. But this is not it's not a height of two all the way across because this 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 um, center of the circle is slightly to the right by the looks of things. Okay, um, so it's quite easy to work out this sector once you've got this angle, but of course you're going to need to find that angle. Now for the other side, so what I'm talking about there is this side it's slightly harder because the technique for that will be well you'll need to find the angle inside here okay um, and then you can work out the angle of that triangle to the left hand side there and then um, and then you'll need to work out uh, this angle and use the half r squared theta for that as well um, to work out the area of that sector so what you'll need to do in that case is add a triangle to the area of the sector, whereas with the other side, you have to take the triangle off the area of the sector. So that's a, that's a little bit more tricky, but it, basically there's the technique. All we need to work out now are, is essentially the angles around this point here and the angles over to the side there. Okay, so that's... That's what the problem boils down to. Now, let's just draw this out bigger because that diagram is no, and I'm going to exaggerate this a bit too. That, that diagram is not great. And so we've got something which looks like this. Okay, and we're looking for this angle, this angle, and this angle. Those are the things that we need. Okay, um, so then this length here is two, and you can see I've exaggerated it because that should be two as well. And um, no, I'm, to be honest, no, I'm wrong there, aren't I? I'm wrong. My apologies there. I said that was two. My apologies, that was three. Sorry about that. It was two in the center. I'll write that on a note on there when I post this. Okay, so that's three. Um, and this is two here. And this is two here as well. Um, and then again, we can use the cosine rule to work out the angle here. We can double it to get this angle here. We can use the cosine rule again to work out this angle here, and we can double that to get this angle here. And then we can, and then obviously we can get this angle here as well by doing 2 pi take away these two put together, okay, 2 pi being 360 degrees. Okay, so that should be enough information for you then to continue this question. Um, remember, just a quick reminder here, you've, you've then got the left hand side so again it might be worth sketching out again so you've got the left hand side with this full angle here Let's just say that angle is going to be this angle here and you've got three centimeters there um, and so you're looking for the area of this segment here you've got the formula for area of a segment again Let's just remind you again okay which you can you can get out Obviously, that's just the sector, take away the triangle. Um, and you've also got, so on the right-hand side, this, you really need another diagram for this as well. On the right-hand side, you've got, you'll get this, goes out something like this, and you'll get this thing here. So at that stage, let's just highlight some of these things. You've got this angle is going to be this angle here. So with that, you can then use your half r squared theta. That's going to be your theta. And then with the other side, you'll get this angle is going to be 2 i minus theta there. And then you can use a half a b sine c. 
okay, or sine theta, if you like. And that's going to be two there as well. Okay, guys, uh, then once you've done that, you can add those two things together. So let's just, let's just put that going to be this area plus this area. And then you'll need to plus on this area as well. And that will be the final total area. Guys, uh, hopefully that solves it. Otherwise, uh, talk to me uh, and uh, just respond to, to the message. Thanks, guys.